Hey everyone, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Today I get to show you a real special rig. This is a 1989 Beaver Marquee. And um, I'm excited about it because I love these coaches. They're some of the best coaches built out there, um, especially in this era. I, I don't know that anyone built them the way they do. I mean, this coach was not babied by any means. It was taken care of really well, but wasn't kept in a shop its whole life or anything to, to look like this like it does today. Okay, let me close this door and try and get a good shot down the side of them because you see a lot of coaches nowadays that are one and two years old or five years old and they get delamination and the paint stops looking good. But I mean, this coach is from 1989. So what, that's 30 plus years old. And you look down the side of it, it is straight as an arrow. Paint is amazing. It's a testament to how Beaver built their coaches. Um, this is a 36 footer. It is a diesel pusher. It's got a 3126 Caterpillar in the back. So it's rated at about 300, 330 horses. Um, so it'll get you down the road nice. You do have the big 22 and a half wheels on there. Um, some newer tires. Um, those will be good down the road for quite a while. Um, here, let's just let's just ogle this thing for a bit. Um, but we have the nice big awning up top. That is a manual awning. You have some speakers outside. There's a lot of features on this that other coaches in 1989 were still dreaming of. Um, a lot of features you still see today on these coaches. Looking back, we have our air intake. It is a huggable motor, so you can get right to it. Let me see if this is open. It is. So there's that 3126. This motor is, you know, the original motor, but it was rebuilt about 30,000 miles ago. So it'll last you a whole lot longer. These things go for a long, long time. Um, you do have a diesel generator on here as well. Again, something you don't see even in the 90s very often, but they had this on the 1989 model. And then just so you can see down the side of this coach, it's this side is just as good as the other, if not better. I mean, it's, it's a perfect looking rig. No issues there. I mean, even the even the louvered siding on the, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but louvered siding on the um, on the radiator even looks nice. Like it's a, it's a high quality coach, but let's go look inside. Um, again, this is the kind of stuff I really enjoy is just the quality craftsmanship that went into these things. Here we just have the exhaust for the water heater. Um, I'm kind of skipping over the, the boring stuff, if you want to call it that. But one thing that I don't know any video could do justice, um, maybe maybe you'll be able to see if you know these things a bit, but is the quality of woodwork and things that go into them. Um, as you walk in, I mean, there's not a single piece of laminate or anything like that, press board, it's all solid wood. These cabinets are all dovetailed in here. So going down the road, you know, when you're in that state of earthquake, like you are in a motor home, this thing's not gonna rattle apart. Obviously it hasn't in 30 years and it looks like it did. Um, structurally like it did when it when it left the, the lot I'm sure so even your valances around are all solid wood super nice and easy to clean you just wipe them down they're not gonna absorb smells or dust anything like that and you got the solid wood all throughout the dash I love this cockpit it feels like you're in an airplane I think that is too cool you do have an Allison transmission in here it's a five-speed Allison um, hydraulic leveling system I mean it's not missing any features that you really see on the newer ones so Nice touch there, great captain's chairs. These are nice and comfortable. And again, just the quality of materials is, it's nothing holds a candle to it anymore. But even though this thing has no slides, I mean, you get a great floor plan. You got the couch with two opposing seats. You don't feel crammed in here. Um, you got the small pull out desk here. If you're playing cards or something like that, if I could be smart enough to open it. But I mean, even that is all beautiful solid wood. So. Have your card table, do whatever you want, or, or just look at each other over a table. Um, even here, real tile on here. Nice touch. Margarita blender built into the counter. I guess you don't have to make margaritas, but you should. This guy pops up for a little more counter space. I wish I still saw these dinettes in other rigs. Um, I, you just don't see the two-person dinettes, and really that's how typically they're used. Um, there's one or two people at a time if that it doesn't take up a ton of space it's super practical it does leaf out if you wanted to have a third person sit there um, this is all original parquet flooring again this is just it's it's stuff you just don't get to see anymore on coaches and it's a shame because this is you can tell the pride of their craftsmanship on them um, on beaver coaches I mean I always like to do this and pull it out and show this is all dovetailed wood so this stuff won't come apart on you. I mean, it's not held together by glue and staples. That, that is built together. I mean, I could drop this thing, I'm not gonna, and I'm pretty sure it'll stay together. But even back here, talk about quality of craftsmanship, it'll tell you which drawer it was, um, the employee number of who made it, and I forget what this third number is. I apologize, I know it, it's in my brain somewhere. But, but obviously they, they took pride in the way they made them. 
beer was made locally here, not here, here, right over in Bend, just over the hill. Um, but it's just too cool. These are, these are my favorites, and, and they kind of have a cult following. The people that have had coaches like this, the Beaver coaches, the older ones, when they were still made by just Beaver, I, I think people get stuck on them. You, you don't want anything else once you've had the best of the best. I mean, so even in here, I mean, everything is just built so well on these things. It's, it's the reason why it's why it looks as good it's not it's not because it was it was really well cared for but it's not because we had some person in here coming in and dusting it and making sure everything stayed together um i mean they cared for it but it's just the quality of build it's it's minimal maintenance on these things you know even even the cabinetry the rollers on them it's just too cool again this is one you might need to see in person to really be able to appreciate how nice it is i mean too cool too cool um, even your wood here on the side is all solid and again it's it's a non-slide and I always tell people if you can find a floor plan that works for you with no slide that's a win I mean this is what your form factor is going down the road when you pull in you don't have to set anything up you just park and your home's there start the Jenny put the AC on turn the heat on whatever you want to do start making something make a margarita on the, on the um, counter there sorry we need a little bit of a bath but porcelain potty sitting up there nice big Nice big shower here. You know, just show that. Oh, don't mind me tripping. But yeah, no, I can get my hands up, clean myself, get my elbows out. No claustrophobic feelings there. Um, here, I'll open up this side so you can see. But even, even the inside's all cedar lined. I mean, you can't even find red cedar now. I mean, it's impossible to find. But nice huge closet, a little bit more storage down below. But I mean, that that's a wardrobe size closet if I've ever seen one. I mean, even your cabin doors, solid wood. And it's not a vanity thing to me, you know, it's, it's a structural thing. It's gonna make it last that much longer. Um, and you stop talking about solid wood, but this is a pocket door is solid wood as well. And then moving into the back, you know, it depends how, how you use your bedroom. But I mean, this is plenty of space for me and the way I use them. You walk around it, make your bed easily. You got nice um, nightstand space, good extra storage up top, control your radio there, a couple of speakers back here, outlets on either side, a queen size bed, full size queen size bed. Um, and it's all with non-slide. Non so, you know, you're not giving up a ton of room to the rest of your house by having this space in here but you're also not crammed in, in your bedroom. Um, we do have updated TV here as well. Again, more storage here. Um, just beautifully built. This is a really nice bed as well. I know you don't buy a coach for the bed, but you won't need to change that one. And then just good storage throughout. There's storage all the way down to the bottom here and two more up top, same on the other side. Um, just a really cool coach. It also does have the, um, I think at, at this time in 1989, it was a hurricane system. Uh, it's now commonly known as Hydro Hot or Aqua Hot, but it's a diesel fire furnace, so you're not going to run out of hot uh, cold or not going to run out of hot water. It produces hot water really, really fast. You can preheat your engine with it, um, and it will give you a minimal amount, but but radiant heat floors too. So your floors will be nice and warm. You'll notice it more on the solid surfaces like the parquet floor, not so much on the carpet, but it will warm up the coach a little bit. Um, so it doubles as a furnace as well as having a propane furnace on here. Um, but just a super cool coach. Uh, if you're looking for something like this, you know, it's 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 not by any means a new coach. It's from 1989, but, it, I mean, it's a plus. They, they don't make them like this anymore. They really don't. And um, I'm not just trying to be biased because it's the one I'm in right now. I mean, you come in here, and, and even if it's not for you, I'm, you have to admit the quality of craftsmanship is just it, nothing compares to it. you got to go into million-dollar coaches to see this anymore. Um, so anyway guys, yeah, it's a uh, 36 foot uh, Beaver Marquee, the highest, highest end rig that Beaver was making at any point that they made them was the Marquee. It's a 36 footer with a, a Caterpillar 3126 in the back, that's the V8. Um, and it's, it's a heavy rig, but it gets down the road just fine. It can climb hills, no problem. Those diesel motors put out plenty of torque. Um, so if, if you guys are interested, I know we've got it at a good price. Um, 1989 Beaver Marquee. Come and check it out. Thank you guys for watching the video.